Good morning. So I have not posted a video on this channel other than like the Dr. Galani interview, but really a makeup video for a long time. So if you have been sub to this channel for a while and do not know that I have been living in my van, my Road Trek 190 for the past four months traveling across the country. It went from Minnesota through Oklahoma, New Mexico, Phoenix, Sedona, then back through New Mexico, all the way through Texas. What is it? Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Georgia. Oh, what's after that? Georgia, South Carolina. And now I'm in North Carolina. <laughs> so it's been quite the journey. But anyway, I have missed doing makeup so much. The other day I was driving and I just, I had this urge to even just pull over and do makeup. For some reason, it just like, it's something I feel like I have to do. It's like painting. And I wish I had other people to do it on, but I just have myself to do it on because it's only me in this van on this journey right now. But I wanted to show you, this is how I just woke up just woke up and if you hear something it's a generator there's another nomad RVer I'm in a parking lot that I slept in overnight and they are out doing something to their their trailer car whatever it is so anyway I just wanted to show you the true 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 before like woke up really just got up and uh, I washed my hair last night in the sink because I haven't gotten to a shower in a while. But I do have, I have a shower in my van, but I don't have a shower curtain, very little space, and I'm not set up for it. I'm gonna do that when I get back home. But anyway, this is what my hair looks like because I can't run my blow dryer because I don't have plug-in either. So this is my natural hair with nothing happened. So I'm actually gonna wet it down and in Walmart, in the bathroom. And uh, then I'm gonna flat iron it to some semblance of a hairstyle. And then let's do makeup. I'm in the van, but I'm just gonna make it work because I really wanna start just having fun, just having fun and doing makeup relaxes me. And so I just thought I'd share while I did it and maybe talk. So. Okay, let's get this party started. All right, let's do it. Well then, I went to Walmart and I went in the bathroom and <laughs> they don't have outlets in the bathroom. So we're just gonna go with it. You know, this is my hair naturally. We went to bed with it, bed with it wet. Yeah, and so we'll just see what happens. We'll do the makeup and we'll see what happens with the hair. So, I do not have a lot of makeup with me in the van, but I do have like a palette like this with all these colors. I think this cost me $5. I bought it at, um, I think it's called Ross. It's one of those uh, places. I don't think we have them in Minnesota and it's like cheap makeup. And yesterday I was in Big Lots just meandering, just walking, getting some steps in. And I've just been wanting to do makeup. And so I bought these. And nothing was over $1.50. So all this was under $10. But just so you know, uh, I know like makeup at the dollar store and then there's skincare and stuff like at Marshall's, places like this when it's really cheap. And I will tell you that I had have Googled it before and a lot of times it's because it's expired and that's how they sell it so cheap. So there's a website, I don't know it off the top of my head, that you can take the serial number on whatever product that you have and put it in and then it tells you like everything about that product. I think like where it came from and when and stuff like that. But you know, I'm not going to use this very often. So, uh, I got this LA color show it off blush and highlight. 
And for me, there was a contouring kit, but it was too dark for my skin. And so I thought that I could use that maybe to contour. And then, sorry if it's loud, I'm in a parking lot. I even drove to a separate parking lot where there weren't many people. Can you see the car driving through right there? So I parked like in a parking lot where there's nobody here because the business here is closed, but hashtag fan life. <laughs> but I just wanna have some fun with makeup. So I got this. I'm always intrigued by eyeliner. Uh, it's funny how you can do it on somebody else when I do makeup. You know, it's like I'm painting so I can stand back and look. But as far as like, so this is a cream eyeliner in black that I thought was really interesting. I think I could be precise with that, but I tell you what, for myself, it says accurate and precise lining, but it's a liquid liner. And I don't know about you. I mean, I'm sure if I really practice, I just don't wear that much makeup anymore, especially in a van. But I could never get this down. But it wasn't like I really used it that much either. You know, the older you get, it is really less is more because you know, as you get older, things start to kind of sag and, you know, you get lines. And a lot of times, heavy makeup will make you look older than you are. So, just an FYI. Oh, and then I got on this, got this um, auto eyeliner, defined eyes, long wear. So, it says glides on smooth. I don't know, and it looks like it's, like, angled and it's precise. Let's open it. Let's open it and see what we got. All this I got was under $10. It's the only way I'd buy it. I just filled my tank up. Well, I didn't fill it up. It was under half. Sorry, I got my coffee too. Mm. It was like a quarter of the way full. Just a little under half. And it cost me $74. And that didn't even fill it up for some reason. Let's see. Oh, this is just like a regular eyeliner. I thought it was angled, but I needed a new one anyway. So that's good. But that's old news. We're gonna try something new today. I wanna really wanna try this cream eyeliner. So I'm gonna be doing my makeup just looking in the camera here. I don't really have a mirror um, other than I can use this one from my powder. Okay, um, I already did my skincare routine this morning kind of varies i use this vitamin c serum first then oh i think i put this on and it's rubbed away it's first aid i don't know but i like it it's like a gel it's hyaluronic oh, it's hydrotherapy um i also use this i didn't use this today but it's the new neutrogena hydra boost i really like that um, and then always, before I put my makeup on, I always use sunscreen because I had basal cell cancer right under my eye here and I had to get it cut out and it wasn't fun to go through. And I'm very fair, I'm a natural redhead, so sunscreen, 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 sunscreen. Okay, there you go. There's my PSA for the day. So, and this is Invisible Daily Defense and I got 60 plus. Okay, so that's already on. And in my normal life back home, when I lived in a house, I used a makeup sponge. I love, 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 love putting makeup on foundation with a makeup sponge because I think it looks more flawless. But in the van, I don't have enough water. Like when, after I'd use these every day or every morning, I would take it and put soap on it and clean it and then let it dry for the night. Um, here, I don't have that much water to use to really get it clean. And so I just haven't been using the makeup sponge. And again, I haven't been wearing that much. So, you know, just, again, this is van life. So it's a little different, but still, it's fun. Green makeup is fun. So I've been using this CoverGirl True Blend Hydrating, Hydrating Foundation Smoothing Natural Finish. And I have it in L3. So that's what I'm going to use. And I seriously, a lot of times for some reason the tops don't work. So I take it off like this. And this is exactly what I do. Take it and 
just put dots on my face. And then I just blend it in. And I am like, I'm not like pressing or pushing. I'm literally just like gently rubbing it in. No pulling, no nothing. And then what I have left, I always make sure it blends here. And so there, that already gives just a nice, um, clean palette. And it's very light. I like it a lot. I think I got that at Walmart and it used to be only like, uh, sorry, like $7.99. Mm. And then people probably started buying it and now I think it's like 10 or $11. It's crazy how much makeup is, especially foundation. So in my makeup kit, you know, I do makeup on sets and shoots and headshots and everything like that. But um, the foundation I buy, like I'll go to Sephora and I buy foundation and it's anywhere from $80, $75 to it could be $100 a bottle. And I have to buy all different colors because I never know who I'm gonna run into, what, you know, skin color, skin type. And so I have to have that on hand. And people have said, oh, why didn't you bring the makeup in the van and you could do makeup along the way? Well, my makeup, makeup is very sensitive and it has to be like temperature controlled. And in the van, it gets hot. And I don't think people realize how much I have. I've been doing this now for like 15 years and I have a lot of makeup and I also do hair and I do styling and I have everything you can think of. I have a blow dryer, you know, a steamer, I have everything. Um, so I am, um, I don't usually use concealer under my eyes, but you know, I have this called Mega Last Incognito and it's wet and wild. And I like this brush. So I'm just going to do this. And again, I don't usually I just don't have a problem really with um, under my eyes. Knock on wood, knock on wood. Because it's funny, my dad did, my mom didn't. And I kinda got more of my mom, where my sister, a couple of my sisters, there's five, five girls and one boy. And they kinda got like my dad's under eyes. So, okay, that's that. I don't know if we're looking in the camera. All right, so you can do that step or skip that step. All right, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to put that in front of you. I just wanted to make sure it looked halfway decent. Okay, there's that. Now I am, so this is what I use for my eyebrows. It's the old Maybelline, remember these? They usually come in like two of them. This one is sharper than the other one. So I literally just kinda fill in my eyebrows. Gosh, I remember back in the 80s when Pamela Anderson eyebrows were in, when they were so thin, and that's what I did. And <clears throat> here's the thing, after you, um, I never, wax my eyebrows because you're ripping it out from the root. I do waxing, uh, but after a while it grows back a lot slower. But as we get older, we just naturally lose more of our eyebrows. If you see people's eyebrows get really sparse as they get older. So I literally, I don't even um, pluck any eyebrows anymore. I mean, maybe if there's a stray or something, but this is them and that's what I got. So then I just use this. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. So I usually use the powder puff, but I actually got my brushes out today. So maybe I'll just use the brush. And just kind of want to set the foundation and everything. 
So, fan life has been interesting. I'm almost four months in. I'm only like three weeks away from getting back home. Uh, I left November 7th. And I have one more stop. I'm gonna visit my friend in Virginia. And then I'm gonna head back to Minnesota. So, um, yeah, a lot of lessons learned on this journey. So I am going to do my eyes now. And boy, I got a lot of options here. So let's, listen, we're gonna just, I haven't done makeup in a while. Let's just kind of see what happens, huh? So I don't know, I'm feeling drawn to this color right here, this one right here. And I wonder, doesn't, doesn't have the names of it on here, but we'll see. And it's gonna be hard <laughs> for me. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna do the eyeliner. So I'm just gonna put some, and again, this isn't anything I would even, like, this is what I do when I just feel like relaxing. When I was at home, I would do, um, like on a Saturday night, I would put some music on and I would have a drink and I would just play with makeup. You don't have to be young anymore. And there are no rules. I mean, there are rules and I'll actually give you some tips here. So, you know, I put a darker color on my lid than probably I normally would. So remember this, dark make things recede and light make thing, makes it look like things come forward. It's like an optical illusion, okay? So when you're using dark colors, like when we're gonna contour, what that does, like if I put a darker color under here, to you, if you're looking at me, the optical illusion is gonna be that I have like a more cut chin, or chin, you don't wanna cut chin. Uh, what do you call these, cheekbones? That I have a more chiseled cheekbone. But like um, on your eye, uh, if you know you put a lighter color, it makes it look like it's coming forward. And I'll show you because I am going to use a darker color than that, and I don't have a cleaning thing, and I'm just going to use the same brush. We're just going rogue today. It's been so long. Um, so I am going to go with this color right here. And again, there's no wrong. So in the crease of your eye, see that? And then we're gonna blend it out, so don't worry about it. Oh, I see somebody. <laughs> I can see like the reflection here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a clean brush. Use this one. And I'm just gonna like blend it so that there are no harsh lines. It's, you do not want harsh lines in makeup. And makeup, you know, you don't need makeup. For me, it's fun. And it's just supposed to make you look more put together. And that's what I tell people on shoots and especially men because I put makeup on men. And you know, when I put foundation on them, you know, just kind of hides those imperfections. And the lights are so, when you're on a shoot, the lights are so strong that you really get washed out. So even for men, I'll put a little blush on them just to put some color back in. Again, this is kind of hard because I can't see, but I'm just having fun. <laughs> I'm just so happy right now, just to be playing, just to kind of get a reprieve and just do something that I love. Okay. So I'm gonna highlight my brow bone and I'm gonna use this color. It's funny how they... So I'm just gonna put it right under my brow bone. Okay, and I'm gonna go back 
I don't remember which one I used for the... Okay. Okay. And I used to line my eyes both top and bottom. But now that I'm older, I don't do that anymore. When you line your eyes all the way around, it can give the illusion that they're smaller because you've colored them all the way around. So, uh, you know, you, I put mascara on the bottom, but if you just put it on the top, and then a lot of times as we're older too, you want to maybe just bring it up. I'll show you when I do it, but up a little bit because then when you're looking, it gives the illusion that your eyes are up, <laughs> you know, instead of dragging them down to make you look older or sad. So, all right, well, let's go in. I'm excited for some reason to try this. I'm excited to just do more videos like this. And listen, when I go back home to Minnesota, uh, I'm still gonna be living in my van. <laughs> home to go back to I sold everything so um, yeah so this is elf and it's just a cream pot of eyeliner so that's what I'm gonna do next and I do have an angled brush here this one doing this I'm gonna have to look in I didn't do too bad for not being able to see Okay, okay, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, see this angled brush? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip it in here, okay? And just, I just like kind of drag it and just get some of the product on there. You can see, you can see. And so sorry, I'm gonna have to like, And do it. I even have fake eyelashes I bought. Can you see how that opens it up? That line right there is wonky. I'll fix that. That's a nice thing about makeup. Wait, <laughs> I keep going like this. Like, which one am I looking at? And actually, that product, look at it's worked on both eyes. So I just stay really close to the lash line and maybe go like halfway across. Not all the way across. You can. Oh, what the heck. So I went almost all the way across then. We're living dangerously here. So yeah. There you go. This one, I have to clean up. Oh, I had some. Hold on. I have some <laughs> hard sitting that way too I'm crossing my legs Ugh. okay uh, we'll just take that off right there so yeah uh, either stop at the very end and it's always more attractive I can even smudge it up a little bit do you see like like that so that it like goes up even just a little bit it'll give the illusion that your eyes are lifted so see what a difference that makes um just trying to think so we're just gonna leave it like that we're not being perfect with anything today so I am going to use my tried and true, my Great Lash Maybelline Mascara. And this is weird, I didn't even notice it had this. And at first I didn't think I really liked it. But I actually kind of do. And if you want more lift on your eyebrows, sorry I'm putting that in front of you. If you want more lift on your eyebrows, or your eyebrows, See how long it's been? Your eyelashes. Uh, definitely use a eyelash curler. It's amazing. I don't think I have one here. People are gonna. I'm gonna get out of the van, and people are gonna be like, "Wow." People in van life sure have have come up. 
with their with their makeup and style I bought some jeans I love to go to the Goodwill <laughs> and thrift stores and I've found some what are they one man kind or something like that and then another pair and they both fit me and they were only five dollars and they're used they're like a hundred and eighty dollar jeans so I was like score okay probably put one more coat on but let's get to we're almost done here okay so this is what I use for my blush. So just know, these are your cheeks, okay? If you were gonna blush, if you met somebody and you were like, oh, you're blushing, this is where you're gonna naturally blush. That's where it would turn red. So, or blush full. So I am just gonna put, see when I do that, a little bit right there. So that's blush. And then, like I said, I'm gonna use this for contour. So I'm gonna use this one because it's the darkest one. And what I'm gonna do is, I'll take this brush. And I'm gonna dip this in here. And like I said, dark recedes. So see if I do that and I'll blend it in more. If I put it right under my cheekbone, that it gives the illusion that I have higher cheekbones and you can do that too like down here you can do a little bit there and there and what it does again it just gives the illusion and I have bangs but you can do it here here to make it seem like it's more your face isn't as wide so then I'm just gonna go in and just blend it all out And then, um, oh, I used that brush. So let's go in here. Um, uh, where is? Well, I'm just gonna use one of these colors. So I'm gonna go in just with this brown here, okay? And I am going to contour my nose. So if you go down on either side, and then you can like just kind of do that. You can even do that if you want. And then make sure that it's blended. But again, it contours to make it look like your nose is thinner. Blend, 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 everything is blending. And then I do this. I use this highlighter, it's a strobe highlighter. I have had this forever and I literally just put a line down my nose, a quick line. Because again, remember, lightness like brings things forward. It's an optical illusion, brings things forward to the eye. And darker colors make things recede. So the darker makes it look like I'm chis chiseled. It looks like, um, it looks like there's a shadow there. And the highlighter, so that brings that out. So when I put the darker color here, so then it makes it look like my nose is thinner. That makes sense. Um, and again, just make sure that everything is blended and make sure too that you come all the way down because you don't want like that line or you don't want it to be where um, that just your face is dark or, you know, darker with the foundation that you've used. So yeah, now, oh, lips. I don't have a lip pencil. I don't ever use one. I was gonna put the eyelashes on, but I think I'll wait till next time because uh, I'm already getting far into this, but I'm just having so much fun. Uh, okay, so right here, I only have two colors <laughs> with me right here. That one and that one. I think I'm gonna go with the more muted one. Oh, okay. Um, you can line your lips and if you overline and like make the cupid's bow you won't ever need lip injections you can just overline your lips 
I even did it a little bit down here. To make them look more full. All right. And I'm just gonna use some of this pressed powder. I just think I look a little shiny because I'm hot. <laughs> There's no breeze, it's hot in the van, and I can't have anything on because then it's too noisy. So, that's it. Even the hairdo, it's like, yeah, that's okay. That'll work. Voila! Boy, was that fun. I, uh, I forgot how much fun it is to just sit and do makeup and talk. And, uh, yeah. So, Thanks for coming along the journey, whether you came over from my uh, adventures over 50. You can go there to follow me uh, for my van adventures uh, or this fitness, fashion and beauty over 50. And then um, another thing I love to do, I have a channel. It's called Calming Transformations. I used to do makeup. Uh, I personally use like at night to fall asleep, uh, hypnosis or ASMR or meditation. Um, on YouTube, I'll you know turn it on a video and then listen to it, and it just calms me. And so uh, I really, you know, as a life coach, uh, I thought it was a good way to just be calm and talk to people and kind of get into their conscious about some really important things. And so um, I'll be posting over there too. They're black screen and I just talk. So anyway. Uh, thanks for coming along with me. Thanks for letting me do this. If you can see, I'm in my happy place right now. And I even feel better about myself. And I don't care about my hair anymore. I don't know, maybe I'll wear it like this now. Just wash and sleep at night. It's an easy thing to do. Okay, well, thanks for being here. And I'll see you in the next one.